Hello guys, and today I'm going to show you a game which ends with two pawns with one pawn either side of the king and versus a king and a rock. Now, I won this game, but it could have gone the other way near the end. And I'm going to explore various possibilities, okay? I was just experimenting with some bad openings to try something different. Um, my opponent, as you can, oh no, they decided to do a swap. And they're also up by a pawn. But they lose their knight in the process. That was a blunder by them. Just checking that. They basically um, gained a pawn but lost a, a knight overall. Now, this is where I very, very, very nearly blundered the queen. Why I did that, I have no idea. At this point, black could have taken my queen. But for some reason, didn't. They didn't see it. I immediately thought, saw the threat, and I thought I'll get rid of the threat immediately. And so I offered and had a queen exchange. That, as you now see, has increased my chances somewhat because the queen threat has now been removed. But this is not, none of this is really that relevant to the end. I'm threatening to try and take the rook. Not sure. I take their bishop. They take my knight. I'm basically causing a check. Now this is very, very dangerous for me. This is looking incredibly dangerous with two rooks threatening to take a pawn. I move this so it's blocking it because if they then take the pawn <coughs> then they will lose um, one of their rocks because it will be taken by my bishop. I take a pawn. Not the best move in the world, and in fact is considered silly, but um, we'll see if they actually um, if they decide to try what they were trying to do. For some reason they move the knight when they could have actually taken the pawn. And as I said, there's lots of blunders everywhere here. I mean, this is, like, terrible. But the idea is they take my rock, I take one of their rocks. So now you can see pretty much how the ending is going to go. Now they've decided to try what they would have done earlier. And they've lost their knight. And I've lost my knight. So now it's a game consisting entirely of pawns and 
a rock age. It's now an aim of trying to mop up the pawn somehow. Now they got a queen first. But how useful will it be? Right, for some reason that I don't understand, they've done a Botez Gambit. Yes, I try. I did a Botez Gambit, there was a Botez Gambit declined earlier, and this is a Botez Gambit accepted. Um, basically, in colloquial chess, it's basically blundering a queen, okay? So I took the queen straight off, threat disappeared. Now it looks like it's a draw, so, you know, at the moment it's not a draw officially, but it looks fairly even. They have an extra pawn. They try to take off my pawn. I take off their rock. So now, it's going to be a chase between... Two pawns and a rook. I move it straight to the bottom. Now I start to move my king in diagonally. Apparently that was a bad move for some reason. I don't understand why, but never mind. I just want to move the king out of the way. Now I'm threatening to take it from the pawn. And this is where it could... And now... From here, this move changes everything. I move my king out of the way. And now it indicates I'm going to win. That move, that's a, this was the move that changed everything. Pretty much. I now move my king underneath. They have to move their king out of the way. Now, They've lost. They've lost their pawns. No matter. And. They have to move the king somewhere. And they've lost their pawn. So they cannot now get turn them into queens. Now it's just a what means of me trying to get checkmate now. Just trying to force the king up the board. I think that may have been a bit of a wasted move, but never mind. And now, I had to be careful what I did, because if I did the wrong thing, I could have, it could have been stalemate. There, it was checkmate. But if instead, I had moved this there, it would now have been 
um, a stalemate. And that would have been a draw instead. So let's go back a few moves and see what could have happened instead. As I said, with a rook and a king they couldn't have won. But let's go back a bit further and see what they could have done with the pawns instead. Now. Now let's suppose he made move there instead. Now I would be in trouble. As white, because if I take King moves up to there. Oh. Then. No, I've actually stopped it actually because that would be a draw. Because I can't protect it. They couldn't protect it, so I would have had a draw. This is what changed me. And now, if they'd moved their king there instead, if instead they'd have moved their king down, threatening my rook, and if, for example, I think I've already covered that, but if instead I move my rook there again be a draw, but if that wasn't spotted And I go back a bit further. I move there. If they had moved there instead, and if they take it, 
Next to draw. If then instead move, then now they would then be in trouble. As if they do that, and now they're in real trouble. As now there would be two queens because they could not stop um, my other queen and another pawn I couldn't stop the other pawn turning into a queen If I move that there, for example, then take that. Then enough. It's taken off and it's a draw. So there are ways with a lot of you know blundering where you know black could have won. So just because you think you have the chance to get two queens, it doesn't mean you will. Okay, I, I understood my opponent thought um, two pawns which could become queens with um, a king protecting them. would actually be beneficial and they thought they could possibly win this way but they didn't just because you have two pawns protected by a, a king doesn't mean you'll actually turn those pawns into queens or knights if you prefer or anything else so there you go guys a rook versus two pawns with a king protecting them thanks for watching bye